Hey, what's going on everyone? In this video, I'm going to teach you how to install CyanogenMod 10.1, which is based on Android 4.2 for the Samsung Galaxy S2 LTE for the uh, Rogers network. And uh, this method also works for the Skyrocket from the AT&T network. The reason it works for both devices is because they're almost identical in hardware design. Um, so basically, if you if you know how to install CyanogenMod 9 or 10, this will be really easy for you. You just got to install a different version of G apps. For those of you that aren't familiar with it, then just follow along in this video and I'll teach you how to get it done. Um, the first thing to do is check if your phone is compatible with this uh, method. So you go to your phone settings, about phone at the bottom, and here, Samsung SGH i727. Yours must say SG, oops, SGH i727 or SGH i727R. I'll put both model numbers in the description below. Your phone must match one of those two. Uh, if it doesn't, then this method will not work for you. By tending to follow the instructions in this video, should something go wrong, you could permanently damage your device. If that is the case, you take no responsibility, so be following the instructions in this video at your own risk. Uh, what I recommend you do at this point is just pause this video if you're not familiar with how to install a ROM. And just read the description, make sure your phone model matches, uh, you can find all the links easily, blah blah blah. And uh, please don't ask me if this works for a different version like of, of the Galaxy S2 because the instructions, like the model numbers are below. You'll also find links down below on how to back up your contacts and your data because this will erase everything on your phone. Uh, your SD card, your if you have an external SD card, it should be okay. And if you, your internal uh, memory, where all your pictures and stuff are, should be okay as well, but I highly recommend you back them up just to be safe. In order to get this up and running, your device must be rooted and you must have Clockwork Mod Recovery installed. If you want to know how to get that done, uh, I have links in the description below telling you how to get that done. I am not a developer, so if you have any technical questions, I will most likely not reply to them because, as mentioned, I'm not a developer. If you have any questions or comments, please go to the official Synergy Mod website, go to the forums and ask in there because that's where all the developers are. Okay, so what you want to do is actually find the correct file you want to download. Um, I'll put a link, for this page I'll put a link in the description below. And when you arrive at this page, you're gonna see uh, like a whole bunch of different versions of Sanjimod. You'll see Sanjimod 9, which is ice cream sandwiches, which is like Android 4.0 something. Sanjimod 10 is based off Android 4.1 point something. And Sanjimod 10.1 is Android 4.2 point whatever. Uh, here you'll see that Nightly. Nightly basically stands for experimental mode. So it's still in testing phase. Uh, there's still, you know, getting bug fixes done. If at any point you see something like um, release candidate, release candidate means it's fairly stable, it's almost near completion, like near perfected uh, version. And if you see something like stable, stable is the best. That means it's, it's completely done, there's next to no bugs to fix out. Snapshot is basically another experimental version. So what we're looking for is, um, these are listed by date order, so the newest version will always be at the top. Um, so what we're going to do is download this one here, it's nightly, so that means experimental, click it, download it, um, do not extract the zip file, leave the zip file as it is, and then what you need to do is get the G apps, I'll put a link to this page in the description below, you can either just hit download or file uh, download, and this zip file you're going to copy it to your computer, or, sorry not to your computer, you're going to copy it to your phone. So you're going to copy gapps, the zip file, and the actual Mod ROM zip file, both of them to the internal memory of your phone. Uh, I just recommend you put on the internal memory, it's not a big deal, but it's just easier that way. Uh, copy and paste it to your phone, and then what you want to do is boot into recovery, or Clockwork Mod recovery, or uh, I'm not familiar with TWRP, but I believe it's just a different recovery version. So in order to boot into uh, custom recovery. What you need to do is turn off your phone and press and hold both volume buttons and the power button at the same time. For those of you running the Skyrocket, I don't know if the instructions on how to boot into recovery are the same. If if, if they don't work, just Google it because I'm running the Rogers version, okay? So what you basically do is press and hold both volume buttons, power button at the same time. When the phone vibrates, let go of the power button, but still hold the volume buttons. Still waiting. Okay, so after a little bit of waiting, this is Clockwork Mod Recovery. So what you want to do is, this is the point of no return. This is where your data will be erased, okay? So this is the point of no return. 
Um, this is not touch recovery. If you have touch recovery, you can literally touch these options. But for me, I have to navigate with the volume up and down. And the power button is to select an option. So what we want to do is, where is it? Wipe data factory reset. Go down to yes. It's going to wipe data factory reset. Okay, so after wiping data and factoring reset, uh, what you're going to do now is go down to wipe cache partition. Select it, go down to yes, and then it'll wipe the cache partition. Okay, so now we want to install the actual ROM. So what you want to do at this point is go down to install zip from SD card. Okay, this is dependent on where you put the uh, those two zip files I was telling you to uh, download. If you have in an external SD card and you put it there, you would choose the top option which says choose zip from SD card. If you put it on the internal memory, like I have, you're going to go down to choose zip from internal SD card, select it, and you're going to see a whole bunch of folders, like your camera and whatever. Uh, what you're going to do is go down to the ROM file you downloaded, which here it is, you can see, Android 4. Point, no, 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 that's wrong, CM 10.1, and then the date that was listed on the website, nightly. Yours might say stable or whatever, depending on what date you downloaded it. Press the power button on it, select it, go down to yes. Let's install the ROM. This will take a couple minutes and we'll continue from there. Okay, so after you finish installing the ROM, it says install from SD card complete. So now we want to install G apps. You must install G apps because that's where Google Play, Gmail app is and stuff. Uh, so again, I'm, mine's on the internal memory. So I'm going to go down to internal SD card, select it. And you can go all the way down. This time you're going to select 4.2 G apps fixed, whatever. Select it, go down to yes. Uh, this will take a minute, but it'll install a lot faster and we'll continue from there. Okay, so again, you should get a message saying install from SD card complete. If for any reason the SD card, does, like it says, not complete, again, don't ask me uh, for help because I'm not a developer. I can't help you. Most likely when you downloaded the files from the internet, like here, perhaps it didn't download correctly and it got the file got corrupted or you're doing something wrong. So in that case, ask in the Signage Mod forums. So what we want to do now is exit. So we're going to go down to go back, press the power button. And what we want to do is simply start the phone. So press, it says reboot system now, select it, and the phone will reboot. It'll take about uh, four to five minutes, depending, uh, because this is the first time you're running this ROM. So it, it'll take a few minutes to boot up. And once I've booted up, I'll prove to you guys that I'm running Android um, 4.2 Signage Mod 10.1, okay? Okay, so upon startup, you know, when you boot the phone, put in your email, blah, blah, blah. Um, I, the screen was black for a little while. All I did was simply press the home button and it popped up and it's working just fine. I noticed right off the bat there's some new widgets included with Mod 10.1, which is pretty neat. Um, the lock screen has changed, but I'll, I'll do a demo video and a separate video. Uh, let me just prove to you guys I'm actually running it. And where is it? Android 4.2.2. And sign engine mod 10.1. So by running Android 4.2.2, this is the most current version of Android uh, that Nexus devices are running. Something Samsung will probably never ever do for the Galaxy S2, any version of the Galaxy S2 for that matter. I believe they upgraded to Android 4.1 and I don't think they'll ever upgrade it anymore. So um, that's pretty much it, simple. Once your device is rooted and you have clockwork mod recovery, it's a really easy process. So if you found this video useful, check out my website in the description below. Hit the like button, it does help. Subscribe, and thanks for watching.